Welcome to my channel, where there are interesting and equally sensational stories. Listen to today's story. At what point do we stop fighting for what we want or what we love? How do we know when to put the sword and shield down? Today on our space, we hear of some epic battles, when too much is too much, and when not enough is not enough. Our first op learns the best course of action, moving forward. Note, all previous posts have been instantly deleted. So this is what happened. I found out almost six months to the day that my wife, best friend, had been cheating on me for almost three years. We've been together for 18 years. In the last 18 years, I have never dreamed about wanting any women other than her, and I thought the feelings were mutual. The past three years, she became distant, secretive on her phone constantly in a separate room. I would constantly ask her, everything okay? Her reply was always yes. Why do you ask? Then about a year ago, she would start asking me are you seeing someone else? I was floored that she would even ask me that question. I've always been an open book. I've never had a social account like Facebook or any social account to speak of, and my cell phone was always an open book for her. She even had the password unlock it all my email account login and passwords, etc. Then on the morning of Saturday, June 25, 2022, we were sitting on the sofa drinking coffee. She was being distant, and I asked her, who are you seeing? She broke down and told me she had been seeing a contract worker for the past two and a half years. I asked her who. She told me he was 10 years younger than her, married with four kids. I broke down. I was devastated. My life was and still is shattered. All respect and trust for the past 18 years died that day. I was a kind of husband that never had a bad thing to say to my wife, in front of her or behind her back. I always encouraged her in any endeavor she attempted. I told her many, many times how beautiful, intelligent she was, and how much I truly loved her. I tried to show her love in the simplest ways, holding hands alone in in public. I always felt like she had my back no matter what, and she knew I had her back. Now, I feel like I have just wasted 18 years of my life. I feel like for the past 18 years, whenever I kissed her at the door while leaving for work and she told me she loved me, it was a lie. She has been very remorseful. She has broken down on various occasions in the past six months still begging for forgiveness. She has cut off all contact with a guy, deleted all social apps, even called him up in front of me on speakerphone, telling him it was over, and to never contact her again. Or else she or I would be contacting his wife, letting her know what a low life he also is. She even gave me all logins and passwords to all her accounts. Email, other apps back accounts, and credit cards. She told me she made the biggest mistake in her life by carrying on a fair and that losing me would devastate her life forever. My problem is I can't accept her apology. I don't trust her, and I still consider her to be a liar. I know it's only been six months, but I still feel the same. I honestly don't know if I can ever trust her again the way I feel now. I feel useless as a man. I've lost my self-respect as a person, and it hurts so much to even think about what she has done to me. When we are alone, I see them two together all the time. I feel the best course of action is to move on, even though I still love her. This is the update, 1282022. I did inform the fair partner's wife about everything that transpired between him and my wife. I supplied her with dates and hotel receipts my wife provided. She has since booted his butt out the door and is in the process of filing for a divorce. As for me, I'm also in the process of filing for divorce. I have decided for my mental well-being. Divorce was the only option left for me. Knowing that I will be cutting all legal ties with my spouse has helped me mentally on a large scale. I know now that there is nothing wrong with me, and I did nothing to deserve this type of betrayal. I'm happy knowing I will be moving on with my life. The community responds in kind, Ranger ANF says, great update. Sometimes cheating is just a deal breaker. Any cheating is hard to deal with.
Two and a half years is a long time and moves it towards the top of the scale. It is much better to make the decision now as opposed to five years down the road after a failed reconciliation attempt. Your progress and healing and feelings at this point are a clear indication that you made the right decision for you. Good luck. The op replies. Thanks, Ranger. Advice I've received on Reddit has helped me so much in dealing with everything that has happened in the last six months. I know I'm making the right decision moving on. Tailbone 77 times in. You did the right thing, buddy, because it will eat away at you like an acid. I'm really sorry that you were in a sham marriage and sadly many are like that now. Three years is a whole other relationship that she was in. Know that we have your back, always. Angel Fire 314156 says, I'm very sorry that you're in this situation. You might still love her, but she does not love you. Her betrayal wasn't an accident or mistake, but a deliberate and repeated act. You have a lot of healing to do, and you must choose the best way to handle that. I wish you all the best moving forward. The op replies, You're a correct Angel Fire. I still love her and always will, but I know that being legally bound to her would never work. Time to heal. Rivers Eleven has one thought too. So glad you are moving on without a liar and a cheater. In my opinion, there's no coming back from this. For someone to pull off that level of deception, it's completely sociopathic. The good thing is that decent loyal people like us are in high demand just have to navigate through the liars and cheaters, and maybe one day, we will be in a relationship with mutual, real love, and respect. Here's the happier and brighter days ahead, my friend. Hugs. The op replies. Thanks reverse. I know moving on will be hard because I will be more judgmental when I do meet someone I guess being battle scar does that to you. If I do find someone, it will be a plus. I feel like your reaction is totally fair. It will be hard to trust someone who had been hiding all of that behind your back for two and a half years and then had the audacity to ask you if you were cheating. The only reason she was asking you was because the guilt of her cheating when you was weighing on her, yet she didn't stop. She continued on. She was projecting on you. I'm so sorry. Oh Paige you're making the right choices. This shows immense self-respect. I do state it probably would have been different. You most definitely aren't a useless man. You did all you could. You did your best. You showed up every day for this marriage. She threw it all away. It's on her. Would you have done the same? Let us know below. Our next op opted for second chances. Found out my husband is still cheating on me, currently overseas, five months pregnant. A few months ago, when I was 12 weeks pregnant, I found out my husband had been cheating on me throughout our marriage, married nine months without getting too much into it. I ultimately forgave him and agreed to reconcile, purely due to being pregnant and not wanting to deal with the breakup at the same time. Fast forward three months, we are currently overseas on our high moon where he has spared no expenses. All five-star hotels first-class flights, the whole lot. And just for clarity, I too am a high-income earner and can afford these things myself. Felt I needed to add this so it doesn't seem like there is a power imbalance. This is the only reason I'm with him. We are currently four nights in and have just over a week left. I went through his phone, found out he's still in the same ways, and I'm currently upstairs laying in the pool, hiding my tears behind sunglasses, while he is in bed sick. How do I confront him without admitting to having looked through his phone? I'm thinking of just waiting out the trip until we get home. Obviously, if I was not pregnant, this would be a whole different story. I feel like I might be able to hold out as this has come less as a surprise than last time. But our one-year wedding anniversary is next week, so I'm not sure how that will go. Just admit what you did and admit what you found. After cheating on you, his phone should be an open book. There should be trust there. The fact that you felt like you had to look through his phone was your gut telling you something was off. Partner or not, why would you want to stick around with some scumbag like that? Update. Currently six months pregnant, lasted the rest of the trip without him knowing and knew which was hard. We landed, and it made it another five hours before confronting him. 
He acted as expected. Blew up for going through his phone. Packed his bag and left. Now he is staying at his parents while I'm alone. His family is absolutely furious at him, and are frustrated trying to get through to him. In the meantime, not only have I found out that this was a string of random girls throughout our marriage and relationship, but he was still sleeping his on and off girlfriend of 10 years who apparently didn't know he was married. I had tried to contact her and she read the message and called him straight away. He had told me he just didn't know how to cut her off because he didn't want to hurt her after all these years. Hearing that was like a knife in my heart, who was trying to protect her and completely disregarded me his wife, who has supported him inside and out this whole year and currently carrying his child. He came home to me every single night, we spent every weekend together. How he managed to fit in not one, but multiple girls is beyond me. And the fact that he is so cold now just acting like he was wrong, but it's happened, so there's nothing we can do about it. He wanted to sleep on the couch so that I'm not alone, but I refused. I'm now just mourning the man I thought I knew, the life I thought I had, and the future I thought I saw. I just feel like our entire relationship was a fraud. It's not like we both tried and it didn't work out. He really just did not see himself as married, and he's the one that wanted all of this. Couldn't wait for a baby, and in everyone's eyes with such a family-oriented man. I'm super lucky to have such a strong support system and his family have also been very supportive for and clearly embarrassed. And I do have a successful career to fall back on, but just knowing that there's no turning back in life that I know it has changed is crazy. The community has some dots. Muller Man 23 says, you should see a lawyer just to get your options in case things don't work out. He doesn't seem remorseful and reconciliation is not possible if he isn't remorseful. I hope you are able to work things out, but he sounds very lost in himself. Good luck. DOP replies, given this is the second time in two months I've caught him, reconciliation isn't an option, unfortunately. Which is why this is hitting hard the most is there is no way out of this. Good. The trash took itself out. It's funny how he blew up on you for going through his phone when he knew he was the one that f up. Can't take responsibility for his own actions. If he actually did try to make the marriage work, he wouldn't have cared about hurting his ex girlfriend. She's an ex for a reason. He should have let her go and focused on what was good in his life. You. How's he supposed to lose both you and your unborn child? He wanted the facade of the perfect life, perfect wife, happy family without the responsibility and the hard work of it all. The guy is trash. He effed up. Do you have a similar story? Would you have stayed after finding out initially that he had cheated? Up next, starting over is not the end of the world. Dad, 61 discovered mum, 62, cheated, and then ran away. How best to move forward? Probably should have edited my original post rather than deleting and reposting, but here we are. I'll make it brief and bear in mind that I plan to show him this thread so please be kind but honest. Intro. As the title suggests, two weeks ago, my father discovered that my mother cheated and has been having an affair for two years. Not only that, she's been complaining about him to her family in secret for months and making him have to be some kind of abuser. All false as I've been living with him for a while and see how she twists stories to make it seem like he's the bad guy. After being found out, she ran away to her sister's place rather than giving my dad an explanation of why she'd done all of this and has been in denial about cheating when we already have all of the evidence that points to everything she's done. Parents have been together since they were teens, that seemed fine, but is very reclusive at the moment. Since she ran away to her sister's, she said she needs time before talking about this but has called several times to request clothes, papers, or to request my dad's help to unlock her locked phone and not to check on him or explain herself. She hasn't even been civil during these calls. My dad's been very compliant, despite me thinking that he shouldn't be, but what's done is done. And if she was willing to come clean, he'd be willing to move past this and try to work even harder on their marriage together with my mom. Conclusion. So what should he do moving forward? He says at times that his life is over because trying to start over at his age, which I don't believe. Again, I'll show him this thread.
So any thoughts on this, advice, testimonies, of your overcoming a similar situation is greatly appreciated. Ask for advice and you'll get it. Familiar Entrance 48 says, My suggestion is that he'd think of himself as a widower instead of a victim of infidelity because the woman he married and the woman he thought he married turned out to be two separate people and sadly may never have been the same person, so it helps to treat them as two separate individuals. Allow yourself to group for the loss of one and move on. That is what she would want. And as for the woman who showed up in her place, well, you really don't want to know that person given the fact that she cheats and lies about people she supposedly loves. And as for being too old to start over, I call BS on that. I would say he may not get 40 years with another person, but with today's medical advances, that may not be true. The only thing stopping him is him. Bad example, but your mother is a year older and she had no problem finding someone and given your dad is actual morals and is loving and faithful. His only problem will be choosing who to start over with once Ward gets around that he is available. Critical Age 1687 chimes in. I'm sorry to hear about your family situation. A shirker father that at age 61, his life is by no means over. He needs to divorce your mother and move on. From what you've said, there's no remorse or effort to reconcile on her part. There are a lot of good, faithful, older women out there with which he can establish a relationship. Brooke Trout, 523 says, I'm in a similar situation. I am 57, married for 30 years when betrayed by wife's near two-year affair, there was no reconciliation on the table as she immediately left for her affair partner. This may be an exit affair on your mom's part to get out of the marriage, but much like mine in a cowardly immature way, unable to face their own problems and unhappiness, and instead, blaming it on their betrayed spouse. I would suggest your dad get into therapy, hopefully with someone who specializes in dealing with trauma and infidelity. For the sound of it, your mother has an avoidant attachment style personality. They are generally not good candidates for reconciliation as most won't open up emotionally and discuss things and will shut down. Most aren't capable of the work required either. He'll be okay eventually. It'll take a lot of time. He doesn't have to be defined as a person by being in a relationship again. Just be there for him. You don't necessarily have to talk about it, but just support him. My two adult sons have been invaluable to me through all of this. He should establish strong boundaries with her now until he gets some clarity on where her head is and what path forward is. Important question. Is she continuing the affair, or has she broken it off? That will determine a lot. Keep posting questions if he has them. I think your dad needs to move on and move forward. Obviously, your mother isn't looking stay and she isn't looking to fess up or take responsibility for her actions. She surely isn't running back to your father with guilt. She could care less. It seems like she doesn't give a crap about him. It takes two people to have a health and relationship, and that's just something your mother isn't interested in. It'll be hard for him to move on after so long together. I have a feeling your mom has been out for quite some time, which isn't fair to your father. It'll be hard for him to come to the realization that it's not worth fighting for someone who isn't for the same thing, but he deserves someone who chooses him every single day. What do you think? And thank you for joining us today on Our Space. Like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video. We'd hate for you to miss out. Oh, and if you want to listen to me, Tell more stories. Check out our lounge where I feature a larger variety of non-cheating related stories. See you there.